Welcome to Evansing Academy. Today we are going to discuss parabola. Uh, this is video lecture number 8. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 7 before part watching part 8. This is uh, what we have discussed in parabola. The formation of parabola, the equation of parabola, the different conditions are given and then how can you derive the equation of parabola. So basic knowledge about parabola has been discussed and I hope you understand well. And uh, now we are moving ahead with the different characteristics of parabola. And thereafter we will also discuss some more uh, about the parabola, the applications of parabola and uh, so on. So this is the lecture number 8 and uh, we are going to discuss this today. And uh, parabola is what? So we will discuss today about the tangent on parabola. Tangent on parabola. Parabola. Everybody know what is a tangent? Tangent is a line touching the curve at one and only one point. This is no need to say, but still I am writing a tangent is a straight line. A straight line touching the curve, touches the curve at one and only one point. One and only one point. Tangent a straight line touches the curve at only one point. So a straight line, tangent is nothing else but a straight line. So let y is equal to mx plus c is a straight line, a straight line, line touches the parabola, touches the parabola y square is equal to 4ax. Right. If there is any parabola and this is a line which will touch at this point P and this is a line y is equal to mx plus c and parabola equation is y square is equal to 4ax. Since parabola touches the line at one and only one point, so there must be only one point common. Now solving these two we will find here y square is equal to y is equal to mx plus c and y square is equal to 4ax so in place of y if I put mx plus c solving these two this is 4ax now we can write here by solving this m square x square plus 2mcx minus 4ax this one will come this side and c square is also there that is equal to 0 so we can write here m square x square plus 2 mc minus 2a into x plus c square is equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation quadratic equation quadratic equation which is a quadratic equation in x which is a quadratic equation in x and you know quadratic equation has two roots maybe two roots maybe one root one root then roots are real and equal or there is no roots then what will happen in this three cases if this equation has two roots then in that case this line will intersect the parabola at two different points if this has two roots that is for two different roots real roots d must be greater than or equal to zero if d is less than or equal to 0, in that case, this parabola will not intersect at all this line. And if d is equal to 0, then parabola and line has only one common point. So for one common point, d of discriminant of this quadratic equation must be equal to 0. So for this, discriminant must be equal to 0. So line will be tangent if discriminant is equal to 0. Since line is a tangent and therefore roots are real and equal. Roots must be real and roots are real and equal. 
real and equal. And for this, d that is d must be equal to 0. So what will happen in that case? d must be equal to 0, that is b square. And what is b here? b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. And in place of, for this, if equation is, if equation is like, equation is like ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. That is, a is what coefficient of x square, b is what coefficient of x and c is equal to 0. But here, coefficient of x is this. So it must be twice of mc minus 2a whole square is equal to 4 times of 4 times of a is m square and c is c square. So that will come up. 4 mc minus 2a whole square is equal to 4 m square c square. 4, 4 cancel. And now, after doing this calculation, again I can proceed. This is m square c square plus 2 mc 2 to the 4. 4 mc a plus that will be minus a square minus 2 ab plus b square. 4 a square must be equal to m square c square. These two cancels out. And therefore, what will come thereafter? Let me explain this. Okay. For this, this must be equal to 4 a square is equal to 4 m c a. a a cancel, 4 4 cancel. So a is equal to m c or c is equal to a by m. c is equal to a by m. This is the condition and that condition will give you the condition of tangency. Condition of tangency of the parabola. A line y is equal to mx plus c will touch the parabola y square is equal to 4x if c is equal to a by m. I hope you got it. Thank you. Thank you very much.